Now here we have a beautiful little 1923 Bullnose Morris. Now I've never driven one of these, but when I've seen them on TV and heard them, they, always, they sound magnificent. Now, this is perhaps what you would think of as being an impractical car, because, okay, you've got the driver's seat, it's a bench seat, really, and at best, you've got places for two more people, so long as they're relatively insubstantial people. However, got a little trick here, a little tricky dicky. This is the dicky seat. So now you've got two extra seats. Now, I've never taken somebody out sitting in a dickey, and so I think I'd like to try. So I'm going to pop Roger Knowles, who is the uh, managing director of Manor Park Classics, into the dickey seat and see how he likes it. Looks like it'll be a little bit breezy to me, but we'll get his take on it when we get back. Now, one thing that I have to do, starting procedure on this, is a little bit more involved so I have to switch it on I'll give it I don't know a little bit of choke maybe uh, I'm going to go on to fully uh, fully retarded there oh I do need to switch the petrol on as well right so hopefully we've got everything we need there then all I have to do is hopefully press the starter and then let them warm up. Not in gear. Right. Not in gear. Let's give it a go. You probably can't hear that. But that little engine is as sweet as a nut. That has just absolutely purred into life. What a thing. Beautiful. So. <laughs> I shouldn't have given it any choke. Let's try again. Yep, doesn't need any choke. So, we are just about good to go. I'll just check. Yep, we have coolant. Right, so we're up and going. There's Roger, Managing Director of Manor Park Classics. I know he doesn't look like it, but he is. And uh, so... He doesn't act like it either. Yeah, he's going he's gonna, he's gonna to pop in the dickey there. So um, if right, you mount up him. the rear... Good go. All right. Hang on. I'll tell you what, that suspension's gone down a bit. <laughs> that, oh. that hefty lunge. Hold on, it's, it's, it's yeah. leaning over. Well, I'm just balancing you out, you see. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Feels a bit lopsided, this car, actually. I think it's leaning, leaning to the right a bit. Right, here we go. Oh, wait. Drive on. Drive on. OK. <laughs> Off we go. Drive on. I'll tell you what, this is some, the first time I've had somebody up the back there. <laughs> Drive on. <laughs> oh, that gearbox sounds great. Oh, it's fabulous. Is it breezy yet? It's it, not, just, not just yet, it will be in a minute. Well, you've got that double D clutching sorted. I know what I'm doing, son. <laughs> I'm in safe hands, am I? No, <laughs> no, no, I said I know what I'm doing. Dear, oh dear. Oh. Right, drive on. Okay, so we've got no indicators, so right. we're going to be doing hand signals. <laughs> right, I'll bring up the rear. I don't slide it on this roundabout. I'll try not to. Get the back end out. Yeah. <laughs> this is rather pleasant, isn't it? It is. Beautiful. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, OK. I think we've got a little bit of a fuel restriction here. So if I just let it pootle for a minute, we'll get the fuel back. Yeah, it's a bit of starvation, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, OK, that's not so bad. Yeah. I think we'll spin around and go out again. Okay, no. Good for me. So it's is rather it? nice sat in the back here. Is it? Yeah, it is, actually. You've got a great, great viewpoint. Are you enjoying your little dicky? I'm enjoying my little dicky, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there we are.
quite a good safety feature as well, the central accelerator, because what generally happens is if you go to hit the accelerator, you hit the brake. But because the brakes are 1923 brakes, you don't exactly punt it onto its nose. Yeah, so it's just um, yeah. just a little bit of uh, retardation. I put out drove the. Uh I've only driven two with a central accelerator. That was the um, the 2060 Vauxhall Princeton we had in the sale. Yeah. Last sale. And then I, I drove a M45 Lagonda with a. And I, I found it. I just adapt to it very quickly. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, I think you've got to think about it a bit more. It's quite one of one of the charms of sort of pre-war cars, isn't it? Really, you've got yeah. to drive them. That's right. Well, you know, central accelerators. A little bit different, but not that different. No, I mean, no. you know, you just it's moved. The thought of it's terrifying, but the actual, the reality of it is not so bad, is it? Just one small little transposition. Look at that, sweet as a nut now. Beautiful. Once you know how to drive it. It's all, all down to the driver, obviously. It is, yeah. Good job you listened to all those tips I gave you before. All those chips you gave me? <laughs> chips? <laughs> yeah, you ate them all. How was, your, how was your uh, baked potato? It was a baked potato. Was it alright? Well, yeah, it was baked. And it was a potato. And it was a potato. <laughs> so. You're not sitting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Yeah, sort of away. Yeah. Yeah. Well we've got the open road ahead of us, Roger. And Save me to heaven. A little bit of a queue behind us. Oh dear. But I'll we're not worried about that. Out. We're going round the roundabout. Yeah. I'm sure they'll all forgive us, of course. Even in Cheshire. Look at that. And the sun's come out. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a wheel spin. <laughs> Got the back end out there, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, this, this is really rather pleasant, this. It's a magnificent little car, don't you think? Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous, yeah. Really charming. I wouldn't want to go to Cornwall in it. I don't know, though, actually. Time I'd like permitting. to, yeah. yeah. Have you found anything to hold on to in the back there? Just the hood rails. All right, OK. Yeah. I think it's probably more for, more for kids, this, really, in the back, isn't it? Well, that's why you're there. Not an ageing, overweight bloke. That's why I'm not there. So we're talking about me, for oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> The estimate on this is 12 to 15,000 yeah. pounds. I this know. car, it seems to hit 100 years old. It's 98 years old now. Yeah, 1920, it's fabulous, isn't it? What a, yeah. You know, a huge amount of fun. You get all the VSCC events, couldn't you, obviously? Yeah, you this. join the VSCC, join, just join in with the event. Yeah. And this, you know, you're going to get to keep it for its 100th birthday. Yeah. What a privilege. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. Really nice car to own. Forget your fast cars and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Get something like this. You will make memories for your family like none that you have ever known. Yeah. This is really, really a brilliant car. A fantastic way to travel. Yeah, it is an absolute delight, isn't it? Slightly eccentric, maybe. Who wants to be normal? Normal? Yeah. Learned enough about normal over the last 12 months. <laughs> this is the new normal. Should we call this the new normal? That's right, this is the new the normal. New normal. <laughs> well, I've got to say, that is a fabulous, fabulous ride. Yeah. How was it up the back? It was fabulous up the back, thank you. It was great having you there. Yeah, All it right. was great. No, fabulous car. Thanks, Buzz. Fabulous. Enjoyed that. Yeah. I want to buy this. It now. is. It's, it's, it's superb. Yeah, I want to buy this. Fight you for it. All right. <laughs>